Good afternoon, Scaredy Cats. Hope you enjoy the video today and please like, comment, and subscribe. The Haunting of CJ So Cool, a chilling tale of a YouTuber's encounter with evil. Once upon a time, there was a popular YouTuber named CJ So Cool who had millions of subscribers and fans all over the world. He was known for his hilarious pranks, challenges, and vlogs that made people laugh and kept them entertained. However, little did his fans know that something sinister was lurking in the shadows, waiting to unleash its terror. One day, CJ So Cool received a strange package in the mail. It was a small, black box with no return address or sender information. Intrigued, he opened it up, only to find a mysterious object inside. It was a small, carved figurine of a human, with a grotesque, demonic face and eyes that seemed to follow him wherever he went. CJ So Cool dismissed it as a harmless prank from one of his fans and decided to keep the figurine as a creepy addition to his collection of oddities. However, things soon took a turn for the worse. At night, CJ So Cool started to hear strange noises coming from his attic. Footsteps, whispers, and creaking sounds that seemed to be getting closer and closer. He tried to brush it off as his imagination, but the feeling of being watched never left him. One day, he woke up to find the demonic figurine on his bedside table, staring straight at him with its unnerving eyes. He tried to throw it away, but it always found its way back to him, as if it was alive. As the days went by, Sakul's videos started to become darker and more twisted. His fans noticed the change, but he brushed it off as a creative evolution in his content. However, it was clear that something was wrong. His eyes seemed to be haunted, and his laughter became manic and unsettling. One day, he decided to make a video exploring the strange occurrences in his home, and went into his attic with a camera in hand. What he found there was beyond his worst nightmares. The walls were covered in strange symbols and markings, and the air was thick with an ominous presence. And in the center of it all was the demonic figurine, pulsating with a malevolent energy. CJ So Cool tried to run, but the door slammed shut behind him, trapping him inside. The demonic figurine started to move on its own, its grotesque face contorting into a demonic grin. It spoke in a raspy voice, promising him unimaginable horrors if he did not become its vessel. CJ So Cool was never seen again. His fans searched for him in vain, but all they found was the demonic figurine lying on the ground with a sinister glow. And to this day, it is said that anyone who owns the figurine will suffer the same fate as CJ So Cool, doomed to be the vessel of the demonic entity that lies within. The story of Sakul's disappearance quickly spread across the internet, and his fans were left stunned and terrified. Some believed that it was a hoax, while others were convinced that he had fallen victim to an otherworldly force. Rumors started to circulate that the demonic figurine had been cursed by a vengeful spirit and that anyone who came into possession of it would suffer a fate worse than death. Some claimed to have seen the figurine moving on its own, whispering in a demonic voice and causing strange phenomena to occur around them. As more and more people became obsessed with the story, they began to conduct their own investigations into the mysterious case. Some even went so far as to try and track down the original sender of the cursed package, hoping to find some answers. But no one could explain what had happened to CJ So Cool, or why the demonic figurine seemed to have such a hold on him. His disappearance remained one of the internet's greatest unsolved mysteries, and the legend of the cursed figurine continued to grow. Years later, a new generation of YouTubers would attempt to unravel the truth behind the story, risking their own lives in the process. But the curse of the demonic figurine was too powerful to overcome, and one by one, they too would fall prey to its insidious influence. And so, the legend of CJ So Cool and the cursed figurine would continue to haunt the internet for years to come, a cautionary tale of the dangers of obsession and the horrors that lurk in the shadows. As the years passed, more and more people became fascinated by the legend of CJ So Cool and the cursed figurine. Some were drawn to the story out of morbid curiosity, while others believed that they could somehow solve the mystery and put an end to the curse. But the more people delved into the story, the more they began to experience strange occurrences themselves. 
Some reported hearing whispers in their ears, feeling cold hands on their shoulders, or seeing the demonic figurine in their dreams. Others claimed that they were being followed by an unseen presence, or that their homes were haunted by ghostly apparitions. Despite these warning signs, some refused to give up their quest for answers. They formed online communities and forums, sharing their theories and discoveries, and even organizing expeditions to track down the original sender of the cursed package. But one by one, they too would fall prey to the curse. Some disappeared without a trace, while others were found dead in mysterious circumstances. Those who survived were left traumatized, haunted by the demonic force that had taken hold of them. Eventually, the legend of C.J. Sokul and the cursed figurine became so infamous that it was banned from discussion on many online platforms. But even then, there were those who refused to let go of the story. They continued to investigate, to search for clues, and to try and unravel the truth behind the curse. And somewhere, in the darkest corners of the internet, the demonic figurine continued to wait, its evil power growing with every passing year. It was said that it could never be destroyed, and that anyone who dared to come near it would be consumed by its malevolent influence. But still, there were those who were willing to risk everything for the sake of knowledge and discovery. They would continue to seek out the cursed figurine, hoping against hope that they would be the ones to finally break the curse and unlock the secrets of its terrible power. Despite the many warnings and the countless tragic stories that surrounded the cursed figurine, there were still those who were drawn to it like moths to a flame. They believed that they could be the ones to break the curse, to uncover the truth behind the legend of C.J. Sokul and the demonic figurine. One of these people was a young woman named Maya. She had been obsessed with the story for years and had spent countless hours researching and investigating the curse. She had even gone so far as to track down the original sender of the cursed package, hoping that they could shed some light on the mystery. One night, Maya received an anonymous message on her computer. It simply read, I know where the cursed figurine is. Meet me at midnight in the abandoned warehouse on the outskirts of town. Despite her better judgment, Maya couldn't resist the temptation. She knew that it was a trap, but she also knew that she had to see the cursed figurine for herself. When she arrived at the abandoned warehouse, she found herself face to face with a hooded figure. The figure handed her a small package and then disappeared into the shadows. Maya opened the package and inside she found the cursed figurine. It was smaller than she had imagined, but there was something about it that made her skin crawl. She could feel the malevolent energy emanating from it, and she knew that she was in great danger. As she was about to leave the warehouse, Maya heard a strange noise coming from behind her. She turned around and was horrified to see the demonic figurine moving on its own. It had come to life, and it was coming straight for her. Maya tried to run, but it was too late. The cursed figurine had already taken hold of her mind and her soul. She became its puppet, controlled by its evil power, and was forced to do its bidding. From that day on, Maya was never seen again. Some say that she was consumed by the cursed figurine, while others believe that she still walks the earth as a vessel for its demonic energy. And so the legend of C.J. Sokul and the cursed figurine continued to grow, becoming more terrifying with each passing year. It was a cautionary tale of the dangers of obsession, and a reminder that sometimes, the greatest mysteries of the world are best left unsolved.